everyone, and welcome back. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see that I am not who I was before, and that is because Dobby, unfortunately, was put down. Um, I never planned to play as Dobby. I just kind of happened, and I thought it was funny, but I was like, yeah, I'm not actually going to play the game as Dobby, uh, as funny as it would be. Um, so I made a new class. I switched up the starting class, so I'm now the Confessor class. Anyways, I went back, grabbed this. I did a little bit of farming in the end game area, which we'll see on the map later that I explored. Um, but for now, we're actually going to play the game. We got our scythe. We can actually use it. We have the strength stats for. Um, and yeah, we're going to head off and actually start playing the game. Um, one thing you guys didn't get to see was I killed this boss. So yeah, he was very easy to kill with a proper broadsword. Um, killed him as soon as I left the gate. Uh, and fortunately, it did take me three tries, not, uh, not one. So I was a little embarrassed there. But yeah, all, uh, other than that, I had a good time. So, <clears throat> to start things off, we're actually going to play the game and explore like we're supposed to. We got the items that we want. I didn't pick up anything other than the items that I had previously. I didn't do anything else either other than things that I did previously. So, die, die, die. Thank you. Troll neck me. That's very good for you. It gives you a uh, stamina regen if I'm correct. Let's see. We do some damage now. We don't do max damage because our faith isn't high enough to wield this weapon technically. Um, but to start things off, we're actually going to visit the Groveside Cave. Um, this is an area that you can visit early on and get a little bit of uh, stuff. I'm not going to be doing every single dungeon in this game uh, like I do with most games. If you notice on this channel, I tend to do just about everything I can. That I can figure out um, this is not one of those games. This game is too big. Uh, we are literally just getting ready for the uh, DLC. That's all we're doing here. So nothing else. Getting ready for DLC. Once DLC, we're set. Oh, there's two of them. Forgot this guy there. They're always attacking twos. Remember that. I say that, they always have to, I mean, like, the wolves always hit you twice. The big wolf only hits you once. He typically goes with a charge, and then he backs away. There we go. Got him. You guys are dead. I remember when I first fought these guys, I got my ass kicked. Like, these guys really wrecked me. But, uh, as you can see, I am a much better player than uh, when I first started. Uh, I think it's also rusty, too. That doesn't help when you're, like, rusty from not playing any, like, the Souls games for a while. Uh, like the last Souls game I had played up until then, I think it was Dark Souls 2, which is not a good Souls game to be playing to get ready for Dark Souls or Elden Ring, because it's like, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to shy away from it. Dark Souls 2 may be like a fun game in my opinion, like I do have fun playing it, but uh, it certainly does not control like any of the other Souls games. <laughs> um, like, and if you compare it to the other ones, yeah, it, it does at times feel like ass. Uh... You know, but compared to most games, Dark Souls 2, like, I mean, compared to some games I've played with, like, attempted Souls combat, Dark Souls 2 is leagues and above better. Like, I would rather play Dark Souls 2 than Lords of the Fallen. And even the remake one. Like, they tried their best. And the remake one, or the, the reboot, does feel better. I will say that. But, man, is it still not good. Like, it's just, I don't get it. It never made any sense to me why they have so much trouble making a good Souls combat game. I do no damage. We don't have any uh, holy attack power. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to come in for a second attack. I missed my attack. Don't worry about it. Oh, trick. Uh, get a halberd or greatsword and just do jump attacks on these guys. You get so much damage off at that. And you also stagger them really easy. By the way, the wing scythe applies bleed. So that's why Reaper weapons apply bleed, which is really nice. There's the bleed. No, that was actually the AoE. And the bleed, I think, applied at the same time, which is pretty nice. There we go. Nice and easy. I don't think it's a lot of bleed, though. No, it's 55. Never mind. It's standard bleed. Maybe it doesn't fully proc. I don't have the faith to wield this weapon technically. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so brainwashed. I pressed the center touch 
touchpad button to scan the environment for pickups, like in Stellar Blade. That's how, like, brainwashed I am from playing that game, to just, like, press the button to scan the environment. I can't be bothered to look for things myself. But, I mean, dude, it's so convenient. Being able to scan environments in games to look for pickups is so nice. Like, people like to meme and shit on things like, oh, yellow tape and stuff, dude, or yellow paint. I fucking like that. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to not have to sit there and run around and look for shit all the time. Because, I mean, there's so many people who I just cry in pain when I watch them play sometimes. Because I see them just take forever to find something that's, like, right in front of them. It's like, man, if the developer just put a little bit of yellow paint, you know, they would have found where to go immediately. Right? But then people would have gave them shit for it, too, at the same time. And it's annoying. Because <laughs> people don't realize just how useful it is to have things like that that kind of lead you in directions. And now there's other ways you can do it, right? A lot of people will say, like, oh, like, for example, Elder Ring doesn't use yellow paint. But how do they lead you towards, like, coffins and tombs? Simple, with the statues of the ladies pointing, right? Those are, like, statues of death is the whole idea. So when you follow the statues of death, and it leads to catacombs. So that's how you know, like, when you see a lady pointing, you know that if you go in that direction, you'll find either A, another statue, or you'll find a catacomb, right? Um, and so you can do things like that, right? Like environmental storytelling that makes sense in lore. But, uh, you know, sometimes people don't want to do that. You fucker, that hit far, man. Damn, okay. Okay, buddy, I get it. I get it. Does bleed proc on this? I wonder. I'm trying to run with bleed even procs. So it doesn't feel like bleed procs. So maybe I do need to have the right stats. That's why it doesn't proc. Oh, he's pulling on the sword now. Oh, maybe I can't stagger either because I don't have the right stats for this weapon. That would make sense. That's, no, that's not true. I can stagger this right. Yeah, like this. Damn it, I got hit by the fucking little petty punch. Heal, please. I missed the jump attack, come on. Give me the jump attack, damn it. I did avoid the fucking heavy damage. Thankfully, unless maybe they don't do as much damage anymore. I don't know how much damage these guys do. Nope, he's doing the... Yes, thank you. Nice and easy. Woo! Yeah, we definitely need to level up our faith more. Because it is... It is not doing the work that I need it to right now. With these reduced stats and skills. So, there's... I'm not getting any bleed procs, I think. Because I don't have the stats for it. Which is unfortunate. Who would have thought that... Uh, holy belief is required to bleed your enemies dry. You know? But I guess if faith could do anything, it's kill people. It's pretty good at it, in fact. Uh, ooh, look at that. Rune fragments. Is this a turtle or a crab? Turtle. Give me your neck meat. I'm taking your neck meat. Sorry, buddy. You're mine. You're mine. Don't even bother crying, buddy. You're mine. Okay. Um, also, I grabbed a lantern, so we should probably equip this. We might as well. We're getting nighttime, so nice to be able to see a little bit better. Here we can see we got some what looks like capybaras. I don't know what these are. Oh no, sorry, these are these are the demi humans. That's right. So these are demi humans. Um one thing you guys did miss was I took on a job from a man sitting upon some ruined capital stuff. So if you guys don't know, let me just pull up the map here. So you guys can't see anything. Um but basically if you played this game before, then you'd know. This guy right here, Kenneth Height. 
So on our way right, so we went down here to Agil Self to grab our weapon and open up some churches. But if you take a left path at this turn, this is where we saw the two giants carrying a carriage, as well as the ruined knight rider or whatever, the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, ripoff right guy. The Lord of the Rings ripoff dude is right here. You take a left, follow this road, there's a guy sitting on top of buildings, and he wants you to come down here and uh, take over a fort for him. So I accepted the quest, but uh, I've not done it yet, because why the fuck would I? Actually, I don't think I will, buddy. And you just watch and see. Uh, this weapon requires a lot of faith to use, right? It requires 24, doesn't it? I only have 20. Yeah, I, I ended up over pouring into my strength and dex by one in each. So, unfortunately, that's two levels wasted. Um, but, yeah, this requires 24 faith. God. If there's one thing I'm not a big fan of, it's weapons in early areas requiring high stats to wield. Um, granted, that can change depending on the situation, right? Like, sometimes you have, um, hidden weapons, right? That require high stats to wield. That's different, right? If you have, like, a hidden weapon. This weapon is not very hidden, though. This one you just kind of find. And the fact that you need such high stats to wield it, uh, it's just very annoying. There we go. I'll come back to you. Ah, oh, you're dead. So I haven't even had the chance to upgrade any of my health yet either, though. So I've kind of made this character a very bit differently than my previous character. With the Prophet, I was kind of taking it a little bit more cautiously. Um, as I was planning on not really using the scythe at all for a while. Uh, this time around, though, I did not make that same decision. Yeah, so obviously these are the demi human chiefs. Uh, the second demi human chief is just over in the other way. So I'm gonna lure this guy over here. I missed my attack. Don't worry about it. That's him calling his friend, basically, unfortunately. And that's him kicking my ass there. I'm gonna do quick slash. He's gonna back off. I'm gonna kill his friend here. Hit him a bunch. You can hit me a bit and cause bleed. Not yet. Oh, he got me with that move, though. Gotta heal up. Now I gotta use this chance to hit him hard. Even though his friend's coming in soon. I have no stamina, that's right. My weapon uses a blast of stamina when I swing it. I think that's because I don't have the nice stats for it. Okay. Now we can take on phase two. Phase two. Kill him immediately. And him. And dodge his attacks, which is perfect. Come once. You back away because I have no stamina. I have to keep my stamina management in very close proximity here. That's right, he does the move behind me. Dodge spamming never works. Got to be careful there. Okay, heal quickly. Behind the wall, so I can heal. Heal again, because I'm behind the wall. Right, he does a verse, and I can hit him once, hit his friend, where he hits me, then back off, because he's going to go, yep, jump attack on me. His friend's dead. Just him and one more friend of his. Hit him before he can hit me. Dodge. Dodge. Get out of there. 
Get out of there. Urgent heal before he comes up and hits me. Move. I can avoid his one attack here. He's going to go for the lunging slash on me, I think. Nope, I can heal. Yeah, so I'm going to lure him into an attack first. I was going for a dodge slash or no. Okay, I can hit both of his friends. Friend's dead. Hit him before he can hit me. Dodge this attack there because it's more dangerous. Can't heal anymore. Okay, that's fine. I got really good range of my attacks, which is nice. But I can outrange him and kill him because he also staggers a lot. Come on. Come up for the... I want him to come for the dash attack. Then I can kill him with this. That was lucky. He jumped over my ass. What a fucking loser. Cool. Well, we got him. So, I'm happy with that. I did use up every single heal I had. But, uh, this is a slower weapon. And not a very heavy hitting one. So, it kind of uh, negates the use of heavy weapons. Typically, heavy weapons do a lot of good damage and posture. Uh, this weapon is not bad, but uh, definitely lacks some uh, finesse, I find. What are you doing here? Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress, and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Then I s suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to be a seamstress like, like my mum. Then I s feel very... I always... Oh. You're welcome, good sir. I shall move on now with my time. Don't kill me. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, they definitely increased the uh, fall damage height. Thankfully for Elden Ring. Um, <laughs> that's always something I'm worried about is falling to dying to falling because that would be very embarrassing. I believe we do have some more enemies we have to fight though, so we'll see if we can get through them with uh, none HP. I think there's at least two or three of my enemies we have to kill. Hiding up around the bend here. Oh, am I might know. I was wrong. As you can see, though, we are uh, we actually went under the water. So that's pretty neat. I was right. There's enemies. There's two more. Are you kidding me? I was completely right about that. I was wrong, actually. There was three more. There any more I have to kill. Okay, we're good. We killed all the enemies we need to. <laughs> As you can see, we uh, crossed the river uh, just over there. That's where we came in. Or we entered that cave. And now we are out on the other side. This is one of the resting places of the dragon cult maybe i don't know something like that i'm not too sure all i know is that you if you worship dragons and you want dragon powers you come here and you can get dragon powers so that's what you do got some lost grace here do we even have enough souls to level up i don't think so right those guys don't really give you much if i'm correct yeah they gave us nothing they just pid diddly fuck all Church of Dragon Communion, though. So here you can, uh, well, commit, join reunion, and, uh, yeah. Now, using dragon stuff, uh, isn't bad, but you do need arcane. I'm not really interested in. I'm a faith build. I will be using flames and stuff, but not dragon flames, I don't think. 
<sighs> I wonder if there's like a dragon heart you can find on this fucker. No, there isn't. That's cool. So for now, we're going to head back to our just typical stake. Uh, well, uh, not relax. We're going to head back here. So this is Castle Morn Rampart. This is where one of the Night Riders. Um, we spotted one of the Night Riders here coming around that corner, and uh, we're going to see if we can kill him. So these guys, they can be difficult, but they're not always difficult. You just got to have good. Uh, you just have to have good positioning, and you kind of fine fighting these guys so yeah and you don't want to get knocked off your horse you get knocked off your horse you lose the fight so these guys yeah when they do this you want to stay away from them and they want to get in close and then go in for the slash i missed my slash fine Yeah, he got me good there. That's good. Good on him. Heal up my horse a bit. Got me again. Not that time, though. Nope. I'm leaving. Get out of there. Got me there. Unfortunately, he has much better uh, wind-up times on his attacks than I do. I want to get on his bad side there where he doesn't have his weapon in order to hit him kind of hard though because he does track you pretty well and he does get you in this corner sometimes and when you do that you're dead because then he kills you um so that was bullshit um it was fucking stupid and this game is bad uh, i want to refund uh stuff like that is really stupid uh that's one of the one of the worst parts I'd say about you can really say about Elden Ring and be absolutely honest is some of the arenas you fight in are kind of stupid. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's something to be said about the difference between a game like Dark Souls where and Elden Ring where Elden Ring is set in open world, so you have to have fights in an open, natural-looking environment. And the same thing happens in Dark Souls, mind you, but... Uh, I mean, hell, it happens a lot of the times in Dark Souls. Like, it's not like there's not bad fights in Dark Souls either. But uh, when you're fighting boss and stuff in the open world, and they're in weird-ass spots with shitty terrain, it can get pretty frustrating sometimes. Um, and that is one of the, probably one of the really only complaints I have, along with the uh, absence, of, uh, absence of any sort of scaling or balancing in some cases. It does feel a little too rough sometimes. That was impressive. That was a single hit kill. But I kind of walked right into that attack, so I'm not surprised. Damn, that hurt me. Is it still night? How much time passes? Okay, so enough time passes that you have to re-rest at a bonfire. Which is a little stupid. Um... I don't want to keep this in. I just want to cut when I beat him. Because if I just do this for the entire part, we're never going to make it anywhere in this series. Okay, so it seems like the trick is to do like your instant stop. So watch this. So I kind of rush in to try and get them. Now, if I'm better at it, I can actually make it work. Like that. So you kind of rush in. Because you can pretty do some pretty hard turn. So you can if you're sprinting, though. If you're sprinting, you can't do a quick turnaround. So that's why you have to be careful about when you're sprinting and stuff. 
Sprinting when you're running away from him and then stopping the sprint. Oh, you got me there. Nice. I think that was going to hit me. I sprinted at a bad time. Another bad time. Okay. Got me there. Damn. Okay. We got my horse. This is awful. I might have to heal my horse soon because I'm getting pretty posture wise. Yeah, he's in pretty hard. He keeps getting me with that slick move there. My horse combat, my mounted combat is not very good in this game, unfortunately. Well, my weapon only does 37 damage to this fucker. Okay. Got him on the turnaround. Got him on the turnaround. I got his horse, damn it. Not really hitting him at all, unfortunately. Got him. Got him again. Come on. Gotta outreach him. Just barely. A bait him in. Oh, that was a good attack on him. He got me fucking completely lack slack in there. You say circling. That's the trick right there. Circle around his left side to bait him in to attack. That can easily dash to the left and right. Fuck, he got me. He baited me. He fucking got me. He figured out my trick. This artificial intelligence is too much for me. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, buddy. This is the stupidest fight ever. Got him there. Got him there. A little worried because I am hitting his horse pretty low. That was close. Come on. Got him. Come on. You're going to catch me lacking ever again, buddy. Watch this. There we go. Come on. Come on. Keep at it. You'll get it one day. Look at that. Ooh, I swiped him. I'll be careful because when he winds up his... Flail it hurts if you run into it. Like this attack here will actually hurt you if you're not careful. Come on. Ooh, I baited it. Baited it. Go for a hit. Nope. Could have baited me there. 
Come on. Let's see this. Here we go. Got a good hit on him. Ooh, almost got me there. This is such a long fight. This is four minutes, this fight, by the way. I'm probably not going to win this fight, so I'm going to have to come back later, I think. Once I've upgraded my weapon a bit. I'm not doing fucking 37 damage to this loser. Doesn't I'm playing super passively either, so... Rather than playing a little bit more aggressively, which I could be doing, really. Got me there. That's a slow heal, huh? Got me lacking there, buddy. Okay. I see how it is then. Come on. Let's go. And your horse will go down right here with a strike. Hold you. Get a little bit of free hits off on him. That's to do be careful though, because he can still hit you. He has one move that will summon this horse back, so you have to be careful there. The horses are jealous of my riding skills. I feel like he should be jealous of my riding skills. I'm so much better than him. Look how much easier I'm taking him out now. Granted, I've used all my flasks, so... And most of my magic is gone, too. That was really lucky for me. I'll pace him. Get him like that. Yeah. That's how you cut him off with that move. I am trying to bait out this move a lot because I can kind of clip him from the backside when I do. But the best move to get him with is that one kind of works not as much. Again, I'm trying to manipulate him into doing his wind up like that. This is the best way to hit him with this heavy move here. So get a free 60 damage off. Careful. Again, if I get knocked off my horse once, I'm dead. Because he gets two free hits on me. Once with the horse, and then once once I'm off the horse, because I can't get up anymore. But I do have to be very careful. That's the dangerous part of mounted combat, is that you will die if you get hit. <laughs> Come on. How to cheese a hard boss in the game, huh? 101. Stay on your horse. And when you see him jump, you fucking dash for it. As long as you dash to the left, you'll never get hit by that. So, And if you turn in quick enough, you can actually get a free attack off. That's why I'm constantly looking for these free moments to get hits on them. Close. Very close. My terrain is not really to my advantage right now, so I have to be very careful here. This is bad. We're riding parallel in the wrong direction. We want to ride in this direction here, always. It's much easier to get around his uh, flail that way. So. Turn it around. Okay, get him to come at me like this. Almost got him. Get right back on this way. He's almost dead. Get a little bit closer. Reset my horse's speed. I 
I missed him with that attack. That's unfortunate. Got him. Just like that. Nice and easy. And that's a free level up. So, Whew. that only took me seven, eight minutes. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. That was that was awful of me. I apologize. Hopefully, I won't have to ever do that to you guys again. Let's go to the round table hold, shall we? Introduce ourselves to our friends. So, we get to do this because we went to Very the well. special air in, area in the end to level up our power boost. For but a moment. So she will come to you and ask you to, if you want to go to the roundtable hold, um, only after you've either traveled a certain distance from Lingrave or you've killed a specific amount of bosses, I think. Um, so yeah, and we traveled uh, quite a ways from Lingrave. As you can see on our map here, we traveled all the way um, to these northern regions of a little known area of Kaelid. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? You do. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Flame Sling, I'll take a free fire attack. Why not? Thank you. May the golden or I don't believe. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Those who live in all the more. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's... if you find her. Cool. I got another guy doing a unique weapon uh, playthrough, like I am. What is this? Angel ahead. Why hello there. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion and you. I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, my thanks, great champion. You are very warm. light up inside you was a baldekin's blessing though it is but a fleeting thing i am afraid come back to me should you require another i will take you in my arms as often as you need cool free hugs i appreciate that now what is this baldekin's blessing baldekin's blessing well it uses fp to temporarily boost poise um yeah, nothing too special. Yeah, super nice. Convenient. Oh, 
Oh, you can change your things? That's interesting. I did not know you could do that. I wonder if they added that recently or if that's always been there. Your new face, no matter. Lay out your own. Somebody swing you go. Back over Should I sell matter. something? We'll definitely need these upgrades in the times to come. Especially with a weapon like this, where it doesn't get too much from upgrades. Um, and it gets most of its damage from... I don't know, she don't know what my weapons get damage from. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine by me. You can buy some weapons. I can buy a dagger if I wanted to. Memory stone. Pretty cool. Ooh, that might be fun. Put on a help rig. Help people out. Random situations. So they say praise message, huh? Is there a praise one? It's not actually how you get in there. So you can get in that room. Uh, you wouldn't want to, though. There's a pretty disgusting human being in there. Um, whether or not he has his reasons, I don't know. We're going to go die and... Did I get myself killed? Nah, I'll wait till I have some better weapons and upgrades. Um, For now, there's not really much we can do here. We can talk to some people. We can talk to this guy here. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me, or you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place. There's nothing. Ooh. Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Oh, we can also alter our garments. Uh, I don't know what we can really do with our current ones. Remove the cape, and we can remove the hood and just have the wrap. Uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in either one, so we're just gonna get out of here. And what are we gonna do? Well... There's a couple things we could do, really. We could go up and maybe try and take on the boss of the area, or we could head down and uh, work on collecting some new uh, mementos and other things and clear out this castle down here. We did promise a young lady that we would save her father, but before we do that, because we are going to be using spells in this game, we should probably get ourselves some more memory slots because we only have, what, one or two? Um, and this will help us get more. Oh, can we not do it yet? Do we have to, I think we have to activate the trial first. Okay. One rise, wise beast. Yeah, the range on this weapon is fucking immaculate, first off. We killed one of the three wise beasts. Now there's two more, apparently. I wonder if maybe these messages could be relating to it, then. Yep. Now, if only I could try and figure out where this last one is. Hmm. Man, if only I knew. I wonder if maybe... It could be something ridiculous like he's hiding hard to reach spot uh, one thing we're gonna do actually there's no wise beast here if i'm correct right it's just 
Oh no, that's right. No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do this the hard way. Yeah. So I remember when I first got into that area, I did it the hard way, where you jump up onto like the wooden ledge with your horse, and then you jump into the thing. That's stupid. Don't do that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Um, I'll show you guys how to properly do that uh, challenge there. Uh, in just a second, we gotta find this last wise beast though. I mean, close enough for a slash. Double kill. This weapon has such good range. Let's see my weakness coming for the kill. Slash him once. Now he's dead. Now, if I had the faith on this weapon, I could actually kill these things. Running slash does more damage. That's pretty good. Uh, the last beast, by the way, is right here. Nice and easy. Yeah, he hides right behind the thing. But once you're in here, you actually can't uh, swing your weapon. I lied. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Um, so in terms of endings, I don't know what ending we want to go for. Um, there's so many different endings we could go for. Uh, I don't even know how New Game Plus works in this game. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get to an end by the time we hit the DLC. I don't know if we'll be able to hit the DLC on time. I have to hit the DLC in uh, seven days, which is not a lot of time when I don't play a lot of games, unfortunately. Granted, I do have an entire day off, so I can dedicate some time to the game. But uh, that doesn't really help all the time. No, it's not a necessary item. Cool. So let's go and check out this tower there. So you might be wondering, well, how, how do I get in there then, buddy? If you're telling me not to do the hard way or the dangerous way, then what other possible way could there be? And you have to ask that, then I'm afraid you just haven't really played this game much yet, have you? Because uh, it's literally right next to the tower. Um, so if you take a look and you jump, so if you jump into these walls, you actually don't take fall damage. And if you come back up. There you go. That's how you get them to the tower properly. You get a new shield and you get a farming stone, which I don't know what that does. Now you can just jump out this way. It's meant to jump out that way, not jump in that way. Too dangerous to jump in that way. I do worry whenever I try to take that jump because it feels like it's a little bit too far away. But uh, thankfully, it never really is. Now, at this point, there's two ways we can go. We could head up into the right, up the hill, circling the mountain, or we could head down towards this castle. Um, now, uh, if you remember, I did mention I wanted to go and do a favor for the guy. Um, we promised we would, and I'm going to keep to that. So we found the map there. And we also found a giant who's looking to kill us, it seems. So we're going to avoid him for now. But there's not just a giant here. Now, so thankfully, I don't think it's night. So we don't have to worry about it. There's an enemy that only appears at night. And you'll often find him in fields of goats. He is one of the most annoying enemies that they reuse throughout the game. And every chance we get, we will not be fighting him. There's like one version of him that we will be fighting because he's actually kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, no. So you actually, I think, hit straight down. Oh, careful. Yeah, too pretty far down. But we're going to knock him over, open up his belly to us. And we're going to open up his belly with our sight. Do, 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 do. The Siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. I do wonder what those swords are always about. I think they're like supposed to be memorials. Memorials, sorry. Um. I don't know if it's in reference to a uh, berserk or not the whole like idea of like the sword plunged into the ground because if you don't know obviously in berserk there's a giant field filled of the uh what is it uh the red is it the white hawks 
or the Silver Hawks or whatever. It's basically the band of the Silver Hawk, I think. And all their members and their weapons kind of rest on a hill. Or at least just their weapons, because I don't believe there's any bodies left behind. After, um, you know, Griffith does his thing that he likes to do. So, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, it's very much a reference to that, you know. May not be, maybe, uh... I don't really know most of the lore reasons for the things in this game, unfortunately. Uh, it's a little uh, more convoluted than other games, I find. <laughs> and when I say other games, I mean Souls-likes. Uh, in reference to, like, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, I feel like Elden Ring has a lot less of its lore explained. Which is a shame. You guys hit really hard, by the way. We have to be careful. Yeah, they hit really hard, by the way. So we have to be really careful. They hit really hard. We swing really slow. And there's a lot of them. Ah, uh, Will we be able to do this area without cheesing it? I don't know. So there's a way you can kind of just sneak around these enemies and just run past them and stuff. Uh, there's a whole like little area you can avoid. Um, in doing so, you end up uh, missing out on the, I think it's the uh, Flamberg. Oh, that could be wrong. Might just be the regular Claymore. <laughs> you got, I can't remember. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what's quicker? There's slightly more wind up on the two handed, so we're gonna avoid that wind up then. I went for the attack to try and interrupt. I went for the interrupt. Nope. You fucker. You fucker. Just die. Nope. Fuck off. Please. Let me heal. I don't need to heal, but I want to. I'm in a corner. Get out of the corner. Don't put baby in a corner. Never get in the corner in this game. You stay out of the corner. Woo. Go for the plunge. You fucker. You hit me the first. Where the fuck are all these guys coming from, man? I don't know. They scare the fuck out of me. Yeah, let's fight them on the hill here. Oh, there's more. That's right. I forgot how many there are in this area. There's way too many. Fuck this. The demi-humans are stupid. Demi-humans are the worst enemy in the game. Sorry. Right, I'm just going to say right now. You fucker. You immediately got into combat mode, huh? Let's go. Come on. Beautiful time. I'm, he misses attack, thankfully. That's the wrong move. That's the wrong spell. That's the wrong spell. You know what? Yeah, we're just going to go with that. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave it at that. Uh, Are they shooting me already? Someone's shooting at me, I think. We do have to be careful because they like to they just like to quick shoot arrows at you. So, and the only way to hit them was with jump attacks. Which, if you didn't mat, no, our jump attacks are not very strong. We're invincible right now, so we can avoid the fucking jumping arrows or whatever. I don't have any ranged weapons right now, unfortunately. I might be able to pull one out of my hat though. Two crees that we didn't use this time. Isn't that so nice?
There we go. He's down. Okay. Now, this is a little concerning because we have to fight a multitude of enemies here. And we unfortunately miss out on the bonfire because we come down here, I think. But we're going to focus on these enemies first. So I'm going to get a backstab on this guy. You fucker. You fucker. You fucker. You fucker. How the hell did he pull that shit off? Are you kidding me? God, this game is so bullshit sometimes. <sighs> so that was stupid. I mean, I'm just going to say it. I don't think there was any reason why he should have swapped targets onto me. I think he should have been focused on the other dude. But I guess they didn't feel that way. So, fuck me. I'm the loser, I guess. I'm also going to say, fuck this. Add a different spell. This is one thing that I think they do need to fix. Um, spells having to be swapped out at the stupidest places possible is really not a thing that should be a thing. I think everyone agrees that. You should be able to swap your spells on the fly. You can do it with your weapons and everything else. Why can't you do it with that? Um, yeah. No, just simple simple convenience. I, there's no reason for it. Um, it's unfortunate because there's so many things that are done for the sake of convenience in this game in comparison to previous games that they're just, they still didn't quite, uh, quite decide to fix it all. But, uh, oh well. Their game, their life. We're going to fix this problem here that we have of having to wait for this to come back down every time. We're going to do that. And we're not going to bother with those guys. So we're going to do the safe and easy way, which just involves killing these dogs here. Actually, it doesn't. I just want to do this, but I hate dogs. They ruin my life. Um, and it feels good to kill things. Just ask uh, OJ Simpson. Oh, wait. Sorry, that was uncalled for, I think. Um... Much like the death of his wife. That's the double tech. First move was not a double tech. I thought it was. The friend is coming for me now. I'm going for him to do the leap and then attack him. I miss. We can hear the enemies fighting above us. We're going to avoid the demony humans and just run around them. Because I can't be bothered to fight them all. There's just too many of them. Too much work. We will fight this guy, however, because he's easy. A very quick hint. Oh, this guy is fucking insane with his tracking, so don't fuck around with him. Okay? He will fuck you if you do. Um, but if you're very smart and you have a good weapon, you just do that to him and he dies. So, Yeah. Our weapon is really bad for fighting small groups of enemies, or large groups of enemies that are small. Because typically they're quick. Um, yeah, and because they're quick, our weapon is too slow. Slower enemies, though, we have a little bit of an easier time with, um, thankfully. Uh, now that we got our fire magic, we should be able to take out these airborne enemies a lot simpler. Um, we still don't have a lot that we can rely on when it comes to the fire magic, but it won't matter much. That's a full charge flame sling. So if you didn't know, pyromancies can be charged in this game. Um, some unique things. Uh, so pyromancies can be charged. Uh, sorceries can be chained. Um, at least many sorceries can be. Not all of them. But... Uh I'm going to throw pyromancy at this guy. Knock him out of the air. Hit him once. Hit him once. Again. And again. There we go. You can't chain pyromancers, unfortunately. Um, but you can throw them back to back, which is like chaining. But not quite. <laughs> um, yeah. That's something to note that is different. 
uh, pyromancies in this game can be charged, and sorceries can be chained back to back. Um, at least the lower level sorceries can. I'm not gonna say all sorceries can because I don't believe that's the case. But uh, yeah. Question is, how do I kill these guys without causing too much of a ruckus? You fucker. I just do it. That's how. Okay, that guy killed him. But for this airborne dude, I'm just gonna run up and shoot him down with a fireball. He's dead now? Nice and easy. It's a good weapon for multiple targets. Even though I just said it wasn't, I co completely wrong. I'm just bad at the game. Um, no, but it, it can be bad on big amounts of targets. Obviously, those enemies I can take up pretty comfortably, thankfully. But uh, there's a face I've not seen before. Careful there, buddy. Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. So you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And I'm sorry, but whatever you come here to do, take this. I see. Thank you. But I can't. Even if the castle. To ensure that. If you. Her father will. I would have told her. I would have told him everything. Like, here's the thing our character not wanting to really say anything kind of really ruins this world. But you could have very easily solved this equation by simply saying, listen, I can go and collect your treasure for you, but your daughter needs you. Like she is blind and there are signs of fighting around her. And just down the road, there are signs of a carriage being overturned, monsters, everything. Like she needs you there. Like that's all you have to do. And I'm sure he'd be like, okay, fine. I'll go check on her, but then I'll be back. And then maybe he could save her. Maybe he died trying. No, who knows? Who knows what happens? There's plenty of things that could happen. Maybe none of that could happen. But that's what I like to believe. That, you know, it could have just been solved if we would have just, you know, opened our mouth for once and said something. <laughs> that being the mute protagonist that we are known to be. Um, this is dangerous, if I'm correct. Is this a trap? Try jumping off. Is there? This is a trap in there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But we're going to go this way. Yeah, so this was a trap as well. Basically, this entire area is filled with traps of slimes that just kind of bully you. That's all they do. They don't hurt you. They just bully you. Um, they're kind of mean. I think they're weak to blunt weapons. Ow. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ow. Ow. I gotta be careful. I'm just gonna fireball this dude. See what happens to him. That works. That does nothing, though. The difference in firepower there, 281 compared to what is it? Uncharged, it's 212. So that's a whole 60 points of damage charging, which is pretty good. We got a tough foe up ahead here. Uh, no slimes though, which is good. We're gonna start with the jump attack. Get him off balance. Dodge that, and then hit him again. Dodge that one. Nope, dodge that one. Jesus Christ, enemy. Heavy tackle him, to stun him, and then visceral him. And wait for the get up, and then charge attack him. And he's dead. It's a good weapon. It's a good build. Up until we get to the end game, I think. Once you get in the end game, this weapon's gonna fucking suck. I can already see it just being too slow to hit fucking Melania, to hit fucking any of the enemies we're gonna be fighting. But the one thing, the one thing it is actually pretty good at, I think it's safe to say, uh, is going to be, uh, I think it's gonna be good against, uh, what's it called? Um, it, it, it has reach. That's the best thing it has going for it, is the reach. The reach on this weapon is insane. 
Like, it is better than our spear that we started with as the prophet. Just to put into perspective how shitty that fucking class is. The prophet, I'm pretty sure, is like a joke class that you're not actually supposed to fucking play as. Because he just sucks in every way imaginable. What does he give us? Oh, he gives us Estus refill. Yeah, he gives us an Estus refill. That's pretty cool, dude. Oh, we can make our way down the castle walls here. There's lots of rats here that die in three hits instead of two or one, which sucks. But our weapon has such good range and reach, that's not really an issue for us. And the rats don't have good range at all. So, yeah. Oh, we got a whip. One of the worst weapons in the game, I'm pretty sure. Also meant to just be a fucking joke, <laughs> it feels like. <clears throat> we will touch the grace. We will not rest at it, for we do not need it. I don't think we can level up yet, right? No, we can't. So we're not even going to bother with that. And we're going to move on to the boss of this arena. We're going to collect that weapon that Mr. Buddy wants. Is there anything up here to pick up or no? Let's just find out. Let's to pick up here. There is. Okay. Relax, buddy. There's another one. Oh, there's a big dude here. That's right. Oh. And I failed to roll that. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate indeed. I failed the skill check, and for that, I must die. I'm going to try not to lose those souls. I don't think that's possible anymore. I think he took them, didn't he? No, he didn't. That's good. That's unfortunate. He did the big attack. And then he did that attack. The good thing is I died closer to the exit. So I can kill the small guy hopefully this time. Because that's the biggest problem here is that we got a small archer dude who is going to be ch checkering me with fucking arrows this entire fight. Also, I've gone over an hour. Um, but that's all right. Uh, I think I'm going to cut out some of that uh, Knight Rider fight because that was just stupid. I don't think I don't want to see that shit at all. So... Got it. Got it. Got it. Didn't get it, though. All good, though. One why? Because watch this. Boom. Boom. Didn't get it. Got it, though. I didn't get it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Didn't get it, though. It's all good. Got it. Got it. I got what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Got him. Throwing daggers. Cool. That's that's what I died multiple times for. Was throwing daggers. Of fucking course it was. God fuck my life. Can I level up with this? Or am I just short? That's a level up if I've ever seen one. Nice. Still not enough still not enough to use this fucking weapon at its max potential. It would be if I didn't fucking miss a tune or miss level my fucking skills. But damn it. Oh, well. We're going into this fight. Weekend. It's fine. We'll be fine. These jellyfish don't hurt them, and you'll be fine. You'll know they're pissed off when they turn red. So if they go red, you fucked up, and you might as well run for your life. Or restart the game. I'm kidding. You just respawn. You'll be fine. 
Let's kill this dude. Don't know his moveset. I completely forgot his moveset. That's the wrong thing. One second, please. Thank you. Yeah. That's fine by me. I got no help, huh? Hmm. I could trivialize this fight with a shield if I wanted to. Um, if you don't know, the shield has a pretty good mechanic, uh, guard counter. Basically, when you guard an attack, you can press right trigger to then do a follow-up attack after the guard. On this guy, that is pretty fucking good. I'm just going to say that much. It is, it is really good at guard countering. Um, granted, you typically want to use quicker weapons. Um, slow weapons like the scythe, I don't think are that good against with a guard counter, but holy shit, just immediately take damage off. Okay, when's the time to heal, sorry buddy? Let me just figure out. Okay, that's the time to heal. Time to heal. Or attack, I mean. Yeah. This my path, my fuck up my dodge, don't worry about it. Fuck up my dodge, don't worry about it. Then fuck up that one. Fuck up my dodge, don't worry about it. pressed it not quick enough though not not quick enough where is he going what is he doing take it easy buddy he was going for the jellyfish i think i think he considers the jellyfish as enemies so if they were there he would attack them uh kind of unfortunate but oh well <sighs> yeah uh guard countering uh it's really good with heavy blades i think uh, i'd love how i just said it's better with use fast blades but uh, with great swords, I think guard countering is actually very nice if you use a great shield. Um, great shields and great swords are a pretty good combo because a great shield will stun an enemy when they hit it. Uh, and then you can have more than enough time to do a posh or a guard counter, which fucking destroys enemies in their posh bars. So trust me. Oh, dude, I just love fucking up, don't I? God, I'm so fucking bad at this game. Doesn't help that I have no HP, but... <sighs> Granted, it's not like the other bosses are any easier. Like, if I go and I fight the other boss, like the main boss, he's going to do just as much fucking damage to me, unfortunately. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I have to fucking pull all of my stats before I can use this fucking weapon found in literally one of the starter areas that requires so many points to fucking use. It's so stupid. I don't know why they create weapons with such high stat requirements so early in the game. I really don't. It's not a secret weapon. It's not like you have to do anything cool to get or special. It makes sense if it was like a difficult weapon to get because yeah, it's supposed to be like, oh, you have to be skilled to use it. Miss my dog, don't worry about it. That's such a quick attack, dude. That's so stupid. Man, I missed the Bloodborne dash. Bloodborne was Bloodborne is such a good game. And having that dash where you can just like quickly dash back and forth was so fucking nice. So convenient. 
I don't think I'm be able to kill this guy, am I? Um, yeah. Tell you guys what. Uh, you guys seen this fight? I'm just going to pause and kill him. Don't worry, guys. I'll be right back. This guy isn't, like, a big deal anyway, so you guys don't need to bother seeing this. So remember how I told you guys that you can pretty much just cheese this guy with uh, guard counters? Well, yeah, that's what I did. I got tired of dying to him, so I cheesed him with guard counters. Literally, any time he swipes, you can pretty much guard counter him, and you will hit him before he hits you almost every time. Um, there's one move where he is able to swing faster than you. It's when he swings from the right, then he does a quick swing back. He starts to swing from the right to the left, and he does a quick swing back from the left to right. That's the only move where he can actually interrupt you if you don't hit him first. That, and I think also his hand attack. Other than that, you can quite literally guard all of his attacks, including his smashes attacks, where he jumps up in the air and he slams his sword down. You can just guard that and then hit a guard counter off of it and stun him every single time. Um, yeah, it's not that hard of a fight uh, if you know what you're doing. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's all for this part, guys. I'll see you guys all next time. We're going to go deliver that sword to our good sir there, and hopefully he'll be able to go and uh, see his daughter finally. Uh, goodbye.